Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and today we will focus on new feature of Animation Designer which is Morphin and we will use this feature to blend some running animation with two other animations of attacking. In result we will get something like this. So let's get started. Let's drop target model on a scene, adjust it a bit and let's open Animation Designer. Dock the window and we will work with generic rig. Let's select some animation to preview it. Disable some gizmos for clearer view. And to work with morphs we need limbs set it up. So let's move to setup and let's prepare the rig. First we need to correct skeleton root reference and skeleton pelvis since it was detected incorrectly. Let's click on the wiring to hide it. Now we can use the automatic limb detection, but first let's check if the typos was captured correctly. And it was, so let's check. And yeah, limbs are found. Now let's check if something needs to be corrected. And it seems it's okay, but last bone is twist when it should be wrist. So let's correct this and yeah, the second hand the same. Spine seems to be okay. And let's see legs. It needs some correction. And yeah, we need to assign foot instead of some, again, some twist bone. So limbs are set up correctly. Let's save the rig. And let's start working with our animation. So first we want to use some run animation. So let's select it as a first animation. And it looks like this. Now let's switch to the morphs and let's add first morph. And for now let's use it as upper body mask. So let's enable blending for upper body limbs and let's call it right arm attack. Since we will use right arm attack animation for this morph. And this animation looks like this. In place attack with long duration. Let's drag and drop. And this attack animation duration is stretch on the running animation time. So it's much faster than original. We would like to make this charging attack animation be like two times longer than the running animation. So let's use additional cycles feature and let's make the animation slower. So now whole clip will have enough time to do the attack animations. And you see that now it works just like a simple Unity animator mask but we can improve how it looks, so let's do it. Let's start with some elasticness. Let's adjust some generic settings with a lower blend to not make it look too extreme. And a bit for a spine. Okay, that's a good start point. And first thing we will do will be adding some weight to the body when arm swings. So let's start with some spine modification. Let's find swing and animation time and it's here. And let's adjust pose a bit. So we will add some more physical weight effect on the attack swing. All right, so let's add keyframe in this animation time. And let's use curve to blend this pose accordingly to what we want to achieve. Let's see how it behaves. And yeah, already it looks much better. Now what I would like to do is some rotation to the pelvis. Since it stays in place like there is no attack but just running. So let's add modification for the pelvis and whose affect IK execution order. But you see the whole model rotates when we do this. And that's because we not enabled yet the leg IK. So let's do it. And when we enable the leg IK, you see that the knee goes a bit off in comparison to the original animation. So let's correct hint for the knee. Let's move it in Z axis so forward. And a bit to the side, too much of the original animation. 
Now with both legs prepared we can use the pelvis rotation. So again I will find the right placement in the animation clip time. Adjust pelvis rotation pose. And apply this rotation pose smoothly with the animation curve. Let's check it. Okay, it should be moved a bit here, yeah. Maybe blend it a bit longer. Well, it could be done a bit better, but let left it like this for now. Let's move on. And let's apply some hips position curves in the IK bookmark. Let's hide limp so we just see the hip settings. And I will apply here some forward push for the hips. And very small push down for the pelvis. Let's adjust the curves. And it's very small detail for the pelvis, but it always gives some more feeling to the animation in the final result. Now let's try adding more for the left arm attack animation. For now let's again use upper body limbs, but later we will modify the mask. And left arm attack was called attack 1, I think. Yes. Let's drag and drop it to our morph. Now right arm morph is overriding, but let's disable it anyway. And focus on the left arm attack animation morph. And what we will do will be blending two morphs in a time with the animation curve. So first there will be more for right arm attack. And then we will blend in left arm attack animation. But also let's change masks for the morphs. So right arm attack animation will not use left arm limb. And left arm attack animation will not use right arm. And also we will lower a bit spine effect on of the morph to keep a bit of a running spine motion. So it will not so hard replicate the animation of the attack spine animation. Alright, and it works. But the left arm attack again needs some weight to the swing. So let's add modificators. Adjust pose a bit. Adjust curve. And let's also modify left arm shoulder. It should give nice boost to this pose. So let's rotate it. And let's use feature of the child bone rotation. Let's switch curve from default half to the one. And let's blend this pose with the curve for this whole modificator. Let's check how it looks. Oh, and it seems the effect is too big, so let's blend it a bit down. Maybe let's fade it for a bit longer. Oh, maybe add something like this too. And let's change a bit the left arm morph blend curve. Maybe let's move the shoulder blend curve too. And I will do a bit more small tweaks. And I feel that now animation lacks a bit of anticipation, meaning the intention swing for the attack. So let's add it with the modificators. And let's start with right shoulder. And let's adjust pose, raise the arm a bit higher. Okay, and let's blend it with the animation clip time. Let's check how it looks. Yeah, now it's much more powerful. It probably would benefit a bit more if animation would be a bit slower, but let's leave it like this for this tutorial. Now let's do similar thing for the left shoulder. So adjust rotations. Rise it a bit again. Let's also rotate the child bone. 
and blend it with a curve. And check how it looks. Yeah, it added some nice effect to it. Well, you could spend a bit more time polishing this animation, but I think it's enough for this tutorial. In addition, I will add just small detail for the pelvis again. And there we have it. I will just quickly disable each of the modules so you see what changes are applied to the animation. So base animation, attack animation morphs, elasticness, eye case, and modificators. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have some questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Hit a like, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.